Hey guys, welcome to Enliven Wellness. Um, when you feel like you can't, learn that you can is what I like to say. So first of all, thank you for my subscribers and um, all the people out there who are finding these videos to be helpful and helping them answer some questions and also feel vital again. Um, so the video that I would like to talk, or what I'd like to talk about today is my experience roughly doing, let's see, February, March, April, May, June, July, about six months into doing sea flushes once a week. Um, this is just an update of my sea flush experience. So what can I say about what sea flushes have done for me, um, how they have progressed, um, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, um, and what you can expect if you continue to do them um, with dedication and consistency like I have. So that's part of health is that you've got to be consistent if you really want to see results. And so, you know, I pride myself on being consistent and uh, yeah, it shows. So anyway, what have I experienced? So I have experienced a massive change in my health. Um, there's a ton of factors that go into that, but I definitely attribute the sea flush to part of that. Um, the reason being is because vitamin C is a hardcore antioxidant and also, you know, things like parasites, Lyme disease, mold, all these things really don't like vitamin C. Um, I personally don't think that you need to be taking massive amounts of vitamin C every day. There are other people who might disagree with me, but I personally don't, I don't think that you need to do that. Um, once a week is plenty. Oh God. Um, no, why do I say that? Because one of the things that, um, I always like to tell people and I'm just, I don't sugarcoat shit is they suck when you're doing them. They are not fun. You feel bloated. Um, for me, like sometimes I'll get kind of like brain foggy and like, Egh, while I'm going through it. But then when you release the toxins, um, AKA have nuclear diarrhea for like an hour. Um, I mean, and you, you will be on the toilet. Uh, there's no joke about that. Uh, and like, sometimes it's nasty, like what comes out and what smells and you know, uh, to get graphic, I will put myself out there and get graphic. Um, you know, and usually what happens later is like, I'll start to get like a gurgliness in my stomach and I'm like, mm. and then I eliminate biofilm and, uh, in the past, uh, my ropeworm infestation. Yes. I have gotten out eight inch ropeworms pretty intense and I'm like, they were ropeworms for sure. Um, so other things that I've experienced, um, the next day you can kind of feel depleted, but here's the key. And this is what I have found. There's a couple of different keys. One, I have another video on this, so go check it out. It's about the top supplement that you need for your detox. And that is Redmond clay. Redmond clay is amazing. And you've got to take a teaspoon of that before you start the flush. It's crucial. Why? Two things, because it keeps you remineralized. Okay. So you keep your minerals up because you're going to be shitting out a lot of minerals. And then two, it binds up toxins that are released. There's a big problem with a lot of detoxes. And when people start detoxing, they don't bind it out of the intestines and then it recirculates into your system and then you get Herxheimer and then you feel like shit. Duh. Okay. So you've got to take clay before you start the sea flush. And then later on in the day, if you're still kind of feeling depleted, take another half teaspoon. You don't need another teaspoon. Just take a half. Um, I mean, some of you might need a teaspoon. I never have. Um, yes. Okay. So go check out my video about the clay if you want to learn how to use it. Um, but other things, um, about the sea flush, I mean, my skin, you know, like the day of the flush looks gorgeous because your body just loves the vitamin C. Um, it also helps with collagen synthesis, with the, which a lot of us are struggling from because of the toxins stealing collagen. Um, yeah. And everyone always asks me about like the difference between ascorbic acid and ascorbate. Ascorbate is a buffered form of vitamin C. You've got to take ascorbate. There's no compromise. Like you just have to do it with ascorbate. You cannot do it with ascorbic acid. 
Um, I know that some people tout the benefits of ascorbic acid. I'm completely on the other side. I do not like ascorbic acid. You've got to use ascorbate. Also, a lot of people are buying the, the Perk Seaguard off of Amazon. There's a really scary industry out there called supplement counterfeiting. Look it up. It's creepy. Um, and you know, you never know if the, the C that you find on Amazon is expired, if it's even vitamin C, because these counterfeiters are super high tech and intelligent. I mean, no joke. And so if you need the vitamin C, please contact me and we'll figure out how to get you the vitamin C. Okay. So just shoot me an email saying like vitamin C and we'll figure out how to get, um, get you a vitamin C. So, um, I just wanted to give an update, uh, things, a lot of things have shifted. Um, after next month, I'll be going down to two times per month instead of four times per month, um, uh, because that's what they recommend. So, um, yeah, it's pretty intense. Um, oh, and then the other thing is, is that like, you know, they say that you need to take 75% of the dose that you flushed at every day. I can't handle that. No way. Um, I do better with about four and a half grams to six grams per day. That's just where I'm at. Um, but also, oh, another thing that I've noticed is that I'm not being as depleted after my C flushes. Like they're not knocking my ass out as they used to. And I totally attribute that to the clay. Um, I'm also not flushing with as high of a number. My average now is about 24 to 30. Um, whereas like in the past, like the first couple ones that you do could be up in the sixties and seventies, which sucks. Um, you feel like you're pregnant with like five babies. It's terrible. Um, anyway, but then you poop it all out. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, so that's been my experience. This is just a quick little vitamin C flush update. And I hope that this finds you out there, um, getting ready to feel vital. So um, I do do this for a living. Um, it's my passion in life. It's my purpose. I'm getting my master's in integrative medicine. So if you'd like a consult with me, um, I do do 15 minute free calls. So, and like we can see if we jive, I can answer any questions in that 15 minute period for you. Um, anything else other than that, we would want to schedule a formal session and let's get you really feeling good. Um, I have a lot of experience in this area simply because of my life being taken down by a lot of different health issues. So, but I came back and you can get better and I'm confident in that. So please like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that gushy stuff um, on social media. It helps. And let's keep the comments. You know, if you disagree with me, that's fine. Just make it, you know, positive. Like let's have a conversation about it instead of like an attack. Like trolls, I'll delete you. Peace out. But, um, if you just disagree with me, I'd love to have a conversation. Um, but just word it in a kind way. Uh, if you agree with me, let me know. Equally as enthusiastic. I try to answer everyone on this channel. Um, that's, my, that's my goal. I want you to feel cared for. So again, thank you. And I will talk to you next week. Bye.